Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Kay and yes, I am back. I miss doing this and today we'll be we'll be looking at one of my recent projects that I recently finished. Uh, this is a commission project for a good friend. His name is Craig and so we'll be reviewing the special creative model or the SEM Dynamis Gundam or Gundam Dynamis or Dynamis, whatever you want to call it, uh, from Band Presto. Um, this guy is fairly cheap. Um, you can buy the buy this thing for about thirty bucks, give or take thirty to forty bucks. But most of the time, it's it's about fifteen thirty bucks with uh, the shipping included. So it's it's really cheap. Now uh, this thing has some issues, so I went ahead and um, fixed those issues. So. Um, primarily is uh, when you get this figure um, it doesn't come with the GN full shield as you can see on here so I went ahead and fixed that by getting the high-grade uh, dynamis kit and bash it with the figure um, I also got the MSIA um, dynamis to fix certain parts here um, the MSIA parts that I used is actually the butt thrusters as you can see here and the full sh uh, the shields for the back so uh, we're gonna go ahead and review this thing and we're gonna start off with the accessories all right so we're gonna start off with the accessories uh, most of the stuff that you're that he's gonna have is mainly on the figure so you have the GN full shield here uh, on the sides uh, like I mentioned before it's from the high grade kit um, the thing or the shield for it's back. Um, it's from the MSIA part. Um, you have the butt thrusters here, which carries the beam saber hilt. Um, it's also attached in there. Um, you have the beam sniper rifle. Um, this one is not from the SCM Dynamis. Um, this is from the high grade kit. Now um, I'm gonna explain in a bit why I'm I chose to use this over. Uh, the default sniper that the figure came with um, as soon as I'm done reviewing the figure. Now aside from that, um, I gave him a couple of accessories but we're gonna start with the default um, accessories. So by default, like if you get this figure, this is the only thing that you will get for the GN full shield. So this pegs in onto the sides where the GN shields are so that's not really enough um, for me I prefer the GN full shield so it comes with this uh, with these um, I have panel lined it and added some details um, I added silver right, as you can see I have added silver paint apps on um, the default full um, GN shield and um, because this one is just molded in gray oh sorry green and I didn't really like that, so I went ahead and added some paint apps in there. Now, one of the stuff that I love doing, or one of the stuff that I enjoyed adding onto the figure, aside from the ones that you're seeing here, is um, I got the um, high-grade Astrea Type F um, GN pistol holsters. So I went ahead and got that. Um, so this is it, guys. Um, so this is the GN holster or the GN pistol holster. Now this thing opens up revealing the pistol which I also um, added some detail. Uh, give me one second. It's in here pretty tight. So this is going to reveal the GN pistol which I repainted and added some brown lines. Um, I also repainted the little scope for the pistol here to green there you go so yeah you, so he's gonna come with two of these and um, what I what I did was uh, let me just put this back in so he has two of these so if you, as you can see there's a shiny uh, metal thing uh, metal thing attached onto the figure onto the holster see that that is a magnet ladies and gentlemen so what it's gonna do pretty much is that onto the figure um, so I added some magnets there there you go 
so it and then um there's a magnet right here so it's just gonna there you go snap in place just like that so we're gonna snap these guys in and there you go and my dog is crying i'll be right back all right so going back so these are all its um accessory um i like how everything just fits onto the figure so everything or every accessory that he has um is onto the figure so you have the beam saber hilt so i gave i gave him also a couple of beams for the beam savers so we're gonna go ahead and do um, um try this on in a few minutes so um those are all its accessories i'm gonna remove all these and you know what i'm just gonna remove the rifle and start the review on the articulation all right so i removed half of the uh, gen full shield because i'm gonna remove this in a bit too so we're gonna start off with the articulation let me just adjust my camera here there you go now for we're, i'm gonna start with the sh shield here it's on it's just on a peg connection so it's gonna move up and down that is it and then the um the back is on a hinge type connection so it just flaps like so now there's also a mechanism on the on the shoulder so it's gonna move up like that on the front and just like since this is the high grade this opens up and you can just um, put the arms right there if you want him to fire the pistols so there you go we're gonna go ahead and remove this because it's hindering things and start off with the review so we're gonna remove the GN full shields here all right all right let's see here I'm gonna remove the holsters also all right so we're gonna start off with the head so the head is on a standard ball joint so it's gonna rotate and wiggle around it can up uh, it can look to the left that far and go uh, look on the right side that far now uh, I really the most unique part about this figure is mainly mainly the gimmick on the head now the thing I like about this um, figure is that um, it's kind of different compared to the MSIA Dynamis which um, for the head gimmick you actually have to do a head swap um, so that's not the case for this guy so for this guy you just pull down the V fin down and he is in snipe mode so I like that one so if you want to re revert it back to his regular mode just pull it back up and there you go um, the V fins here on the shoulders go up and down and then for the shoulders, it can go 360. Um, it has a little butterfly joint, so it can just move forward that far. So there you go. As for the mechanism on the uh, shoulder, uh, like you saw earlier, it can move forwards and backwards. There you go. And the GN shield is in a peg connection. The uh, the the MSI part that I attached will clip onto this part right here, and then for the um, elbows, it has more than uh, a 90 degree bend, so that's good. Um, the reason why it's only doing a 90, almost like a 180 bend, or not a full 180 bend, it's I think it's because of these um, little part right here, that's actually giving it or that's limiting the articulation but if you like bend it really uh, bend it in full 180 it can do it but since it has this thing that's hindering it it's gonna like eventually go down but it's almost it's almost a 180 bend all right so for the bicep swivel here for the bicep we have the bicep swivel there you go really tight but he has the bicep swivel the um what you call it 
the hand is on a ball joint so it can wiggle around and it can also rotate I have repainted the hands um, both the white and the gray part here I have fully repainted that because it's only a one shade of gray when you get it out of the box I have a spare hand here this is what the hand looks like um, if you buy one so yeah I don't like that alright so next um, so we're done with the arm we're gonna go with the waist so the waist can go to the right that far can go to the left that far and then for ab crunch yep he does have one there you go I don't know if you can see that so yep he has an ab crunch right there um, for the uh, front skirts it can move up that far there you go and for the legs it's on a standard ball joint so it can almost do a split actually really nice um, let's move this up front kick that far and then double jointed knee bend that's good um, no bicep swivel unfortunately um, also for detailing um, information um, when you get this out of the box uh, he has a huge huge seam line right here see the it's on the leg or on the thigh right on those uh, purple parts so there's a seam line there that continues here which I I didn't really like it was really bothering me so I removed it um, with putty I put putty on it sanded it really well and then repainted the purple part so that's why you can't see the seam line there so anyway going back um, we're done with the legs now for the butt thruster um, it's on a ball joint so it, it's gonna wiggle around go up and down side to side now um, the reason why I like the MSI part on this figure it's mainly because of the beam saber hilt so it opens up and you can remove the beam saber hilt now you can't really do that um, if you get the if you don't if you're not gonna replace it you won't have this feature now the, um, the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the butt thruster that this figure orig originally came with I'll be right back alright so this thing is the butt thruster for the SCM Dynamis or SCM Dynamis so um, as you can see um, we're gonna I'm gonna remove one of them just to compare it side by side I'm gonna place it here so as you can see not only does it differ in size um, you can't actually remove the uh, the beam saber hilt on this one because it's molded with the plastic so you can't really do much but with this thing right here uh, not only does the beam saber hilt um, moves and it's actually and it's actually functional and you can remove this uh, just like what I how I showed it uh, a few minutes ago not only that um, I also love the color separation on the MSIA um, you can see there's a gray part right here there's also a gray part right here and for the SEM it's just molded in green see that and also uh, I wanted to point these out um, this is the sniper rifle that comes with the figure now I did not choose to use this mainly because I don't know um, I just don't like the bendy part of it and I also don't like how um, this thing is on just a little peg here so you just connect it on this part right here if you wanna do it like this then yeah you can do that so yeah I don't I don't I I really don't like it plus I think if I repaint this I think um, the the uh, the paint won't stick to it properly so I decided to use the the um, whatchamacallit the high grade um, rifle now for this there's also another option which is to use the MSIA rifle 
which is a little bit better so this thing moves you know the the paint app is great but then um, I just don't like how it's not straight um, it's what you expect with rubber plastic so I personally don't like that so I chose the high-grade rifle um, the reason why I, I chose to use this is mainly because of well one it's really straight it's not bendy and you don't I don't have to um, remove the um, the other handle here and then this also can be removed and then I repainted the bipod for the rifle so just pick that in there and there you go so I prefer this over all the rifles from the parts that I used so going back um, for the beam saber hilts here uh, so this is the dynamis beam uh, butt thruster or yeah for the from the MSIA so you can remove this and uh, just peg in the uh, beam saber or the beam for the hilt there you go shoot that's good that looks good and then you can have him hold the beam saber really nice there you go I forgot to mention that um, for the hands he comes with two pairs of hands uh, one is the closed fist hand um, and then another pair for the uh, um, grabbing hand so he doesn't have any open palm hands so which is really unfortunate um, so yeah we're gonna go back to the articulation so we're gonna remove this I forgot to mention the ankle rockers here now the um, the foot joint is both a good thing and a bad thing because uh, I can't explain it I'm just gonna show it to you guys now the good thing about the um, the uh, the foot joint here is it's on a standard ball joint so the way it's gonna move um, I like how it can accommodate the sniping pose because you can it can go as far as that so if say you're gonna do a sniping pose uh, which I'm gonna do in a bit so the ankles can support their oh shoot it fell the ankles can support the sniping pose let's see that oh my gosh it's not co cooperating with me all right there you go so it kind of looks awkward right now because of because of there is no bicep tool but just to demonstrate it a little bit oh my gosh it's falling on me all right all right there you go as you can see he can accommodate or he can it the ankle joint can complement i guess the uh the sniping pose as you can see right there because it can move that far but since it's on a standard ball joint um you can only do it can only wiggle and rotate so it can't go it can't point down that far it can only move up that far or that far but it can't move down that far so um the downside of this is that for flight poses it's not really convincing for me because it's almost or he's almost flat footed so I don't like that but other than that um, if you're just sticking with ground poses then yeah he is good but for flight poses he can't really do much with that joint right there so we're gonna go ahead and snap back all its accessories and uh, do my verdict for this figure All right, so it took me a while to um, snap on all his accessories because uh, he's a little bit finicky once everything is all attached. 
So uh, before I do my verdict on this thing, I just wanted to do uh, some, of, some of the things that I missed on um, showing you guys earlier. So for height, he stands about, let's see, four and a half inches tall, which is not really, um, it's not really a bad height for a figure. Um, he's also as tall as uh, most Damashi figures. So if you guys want some size comparison, so uh, this is the, um, this is the V2 Assault, sorry, not the V2 Assault, this is the V2 Gundam. So as you can see, oh shit, all right, so he's about as tall as the V2 Gundam, so we're gonna move that, oh my god, everything is falling on me, all right, so let's see here, let's grab another figure, this is my SCM EX GM figure, which is also, again, it's as tall as the figure, um, we have, uh, let's bring in some current ones. Alright, this is the Robot Damashi Zeta Gundam. Again, um, not as tall, but it's, it's, it's gonna work. Um, it looks good with RD figures. Now, um, for the Exia, um, I have the, um, SCM Exia here also with me, which I also recently finished. So, um, this is the figure with or beside the SEM Exia. So, as you can see, let's zoom in on that one. They're all, they're like really good next to each other. And the dynamis is actually just standing really weird. But yeah, they are almost the same height. So, yeah, there you go. All right, so we're gonna set this aside right now. So, as for my verdict, um, I would, I would recommend this if, if you like Gundam Double O, especially with the season one units. Um, just like me, I always prefer the season one units for Double O compared to the, to the uh, second season or to the movie units of these guys. Um, also, I would recommend this because it's fairly cheap. Um, normally, like if you find him, this is this figure is really hard to come by. But if you find him, it's about ten to fifteen bucks with shipping. That's another like fifteen or twelve dollars. So it's give or take thirty bucks with shipping. So it's really cheap. Um, the downside of this figure is that he doesn't have the full shield, and then his but the thrusters isn't functional and he doesn't come with um, the holsters and the pistols um, he also doesn't come with beams uh, for the beam sabers um, other than that um, i think it's lacking detail which you can fix um, as you can see i actually fixed mine um, i added decals here and there um, i added purple lines on the white parts brown lining on the um, on the gray parts and I also add black lining on the green parts that's pretty much what I did and I also just uh, like I mentioned I sealed the seam lines on the thighs and the leg um, the only downside in terms of articulation is just the foot joint so if you're okay with the foot joint not being able to um, point down then you know I would recommend it but if if um if that's a bummer to you or if that's a killer deal for you then you can always get the msia which has a better um foot joint but then again the msia doesn't look good with the rd figures you can go with the high grade kit but that takes a lot of skill to like make it good or make it as good as the robot damage figures so this guy right here stands right in the middle of the MSIA and the high grade line so as for um, the overall rating here um, I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5 now the reason why I'm going I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 5 um, the, artic the articulation is great but then in order for you to I guess unlock 
the figures like full potential, you have to invest on getting the high grade kit and the MSIA kit plus just to get everything attached, which is going to cost you more. I mean, it's not that expensive, but then I kind of wish they um they included it on the figure. But then again, the SEM line is um a line of prize figures which means they did not go when they got released and announced um they never went retail so the only way to get them is to play is to play the uh, ufo catcher games or the the crane machine games in arcade places in order for you to get them so that's normally how you get it back in the day so yeah so i'm gonna end my review here um i am sorry if i keep forgetting stuff um I've been away for quite a while and it <laughs> I had a hard time adjusting on like making video reviews so but I do hope you like this figure um, if you have questions concerns or bitches about the figure um, you can put it on the comment section below and I will do a couple more a couple more of um, reviews out and hopefully you guys will like them and hopefully it will be better than this one so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video